Where's your glasses? glasses? Keep really working. Okay. So we are going to talk about percents. So let's not have any talking now, please. Percents. And there is the, a um, <coughs> they call the percent equation. In the book, they talked about an equation called the percent equation. And this equation is really quite straightforward. And it is A equals um, oh, okay. P percent times B. That's a percent. Yeah. P percent times B. All right, and it makes sense. 40 is 40% 40 of 100, right? 40 is 40% 40 of 100. 40% of 100 is 40, right? So that's your basic percent formula. I'm going to eventually show you. You don't even need these formulas, but, but, but that works. It's actually, that's a help, helpful <coughs> formula to know. All right, the problem is they said, they started with <coughs> proportions first, and they said, <coughs> use the percent <coughs> equation to create this proportion, but they didn't teach the percent equation yet. They taught it like <coughs> later in the chapter. So it was a little confusing. And I'm sorry, but I didn't I didn't look at that. And it was like really hard because it was sensing it around in the right. So <coughs> if you have questions like what percent of twenty-five is something? Seventeen maybe. <laughs> so if you have something like this, what percent of 25 is 17. All right. What percent, where would that go? <coughs> what? In the formula, where would that go, Merit? Oh, that goes P. Yeah, P percent. What percent? So that's going to be P percent. So I'm going to have something equals P percent, right? And then it says of 25. The what time. percent of 25? Of means times, there's the of, right? So that's where 25 goes, right? Makes sense. Yeah. So of yeah. 25 equals, or is, that there's the equal sign, equals 17. So I put my 17 over so here. So you have to like divide 17 by 0.25? Oh, that would be Exactly. So basically, minute. you're going to divide by, 0 .25, by, by 25. It's really By 25. Yeah. And then who has a calculator? a calculator? Does somebody have a calculator out here? I can't get yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I'm Thank you. Lila. Lila's got it. 17 divided by 25. Okay, 0 0.68 equals P percent. Oh, so now, the only thing is, I want, to, I, want, I want this to be written in percent. It's actually so written right now in decimal, right? And so, how would I change that, Merit? Um, this may be decimal over to the right. Right. So it's going to be right. sixty-eight percent. Oh, exactly. That's so easy. Right. That's it's so easy. It the hard it's way. so easy. It's right. Like like so like the proportions. Like okay. So this this works so easily. Right. So that was that one. Better. Let's try another one. The thing that the book does, it like jumps oh, things. It's like one of those drawing books where it just like colors in a whole new section, and it's like. How did you get that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the way they created that proportion problem, right? Think about it. If we have A equals... What is P percent? A hundred percent. Yeah, what is... How would you write, like, 40 percent as a decimal? Forty with 100 40. 100. 40. At, okay, Zero. as a fraction. I'm sorry. 40 over 100. 100. 40 over 100. So what is P percent? P over, P over 100. So really, it's P over 100 times B, right? Now, let's say I divide both sides by B to get rid of the B. Look at that. I have A over B is equal to P over 100. That's how they got that equation. That's like useless. That proportion. Two, though, but, you know, if, if I had a ton of these and they were asking me exactly the same question, I, I might like it this way. I might like it in this format. But I would start from this. And I would, I would turn it into this by starting from this. 
to me, in my opinion, my philosophy is don't memorize 10,000 formulas. Memorize one that works for everything. And then manipulate that formula. So that one works. So this one will always work. This one always works, right? And so if you use this, then it, it, you don't have this complication, this confusion. I think that's much easier than this, personally. So however you want to do it is fine. Okay? Yes. I'm sorry. But all I did was I just made P percent as P over 100, because that's what P percent is, P over 100. And I divided both sides by B, and I got my proportion, right? So, and notice here, pretty often, you're going to be putting the smaller number on top and the bigger number on the bottom, right? Not always, but a lot of times. So that kind of gives you another little heads up. Okay, look for that. You know, what percent of something? Well, of something, that's going to probably be divided, so that's going to be the of something, whatever that is, that number is going to go in the denominator. Anyways, if you start with this piece of cake, you know how to do it. So, now, I'm going to actually show you, though, that even though that's useful, um, I'm going to show you, you don't need to use this. My, my philosophy with, with percent problems is that you can do exactly what it says. And you will create a math equation for solving a percent. So if it said, in that particular one, I don't know, what, well, I'll do a different one. What percent of, um, you know, 82 is um, 20, right? What percent of 82 is 20? So I actually write an equation exactly like this sentence. Okay, what? Does that mean we know what it is? No, it's an unknown, right? So what are we going to make it? X. All right, percent. Now, I don't want to draw percent. I'm going to put it, what's percent mean? Over, over 100. So what percent? That's what that means. What percent of means multiply? Of. 82. So we got of. Now 82. I'll put my 82. Is equals 20. 20. Wow. Look how easy that is. We just created. I didn't even have to memorize this formula. Nuh -uh. I did exactly what it says. What percent? What x percent of times 82 is equals 20. I solve it then, and I get my answer, right? So to solve it, I would say that is the 82 gets multiplied times the numerator, right? Because 82 is the same as 82 over 1. So when I'm multiplying, it's 82 times x over 100 times 1. So it's 82x over 100 equals 20. Oh. So now, I have some choices here. I could either simplify this right now, or I could just get rid of my fraction. I'm going to get rid of my fraction. I just feel like it. Right? Today. So I'm going to say, OK, I'm going to multiply this times the denominator, and multiply this times the denominator. Right? These cross out. Always, you can get rid of any fraction this way. 82x now is equal to 20. There's going to be three zeros, Two right? 2,000. And then I just divide by 82, divide by 82, and I will get an answer. <laughs> a answer. Lila, what's the answer? The answer is... 2,000 divided by 82. Do you have your calculator? Oh, keep your calculator out, because I'm going to keep using you. All right? You're my calculator person. Wait, 2,000 divided by 82? That's not possible. 2,000 divided by 82. You must have been, did you do 200? You did 200. 2,000 divided by 82. 24.390243. 24. 24.390243. Okay. Why would they give us that problem? But you don't have to, you don't have to write oh. all this. Like, if you I got to make the floor. So, cool. so I would just say 24.4. <coughs> 24. One of my answers, I got 0. 0.6666666. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 
Right, right. So, no, that's so, fair. So yeah, you guys don't have to do these long, af long yeah, places afterwards. Why did they just afterwards. like try to get this off hard? Yeah, why, why did they? Get why? Easy? Easy? Okay. So I would say x is approximately equal to twenty-four point four. Um, that's how I would do it. So this works for any kind of percent problem, where you can just put it right into its equation. Hold on, Gary. Sorry. Pause. 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 Okay, let's try another one. What number is 15%? What number? Here's another one. Erase it. What number, not what percent, what number is 15%? Number is 15% of 88. Can I erase all this stuff down here yet? Would it be A yes. equals yes. point? Bella? Would it be? Yeah. Gary, Gary, would it be A equals point 0.15 times 88? Yes, exactly. You just followed the words, right? What number? What number? What's that going to be? A. X. X. Is. What's that going to be? Equals. Equals. 15% written as a decimal. I could put it 15 over 100, or I could put 0. 0. 0.15. 0. 0.15. Excuse me, it's, I'm on film, so I have to answer this one. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Thank you. Um, and then of means times. 88 means 88. Okay. <coughs> Look how easy that is. So you just multiply a little bit Lila 0. 0.15 times 88. 13.2. X is equal to 13.2. Yes. Um, that makes sense. All right. So good. <coughs> so that's that's percents. They're really easy. I made the mistake of not looking to see how they were doing it and that the problems I gave you that they said to use the proportion method, which I would never do personally. You know, so. Um, so we don't want to have to follow. But if you want to do it, go for it. Okay. You know what I mean? It's totally fine. If it makes sense to you, then do it, totally. There's lots of ways to do anything in math. So that was percents. OK, so now I'm going to, uh, can I erase this? Yeah. Sure. Now we're going to talk about percent change. Oh. Or it's also Whoa. called percent increase and decrease. Oh, I love this. Percent, so now we're going to talk about percent change, also called percent increase. Um, or decrease. <coughs> so let's say you have, um, well, let's see, what is the formula that they use? How do they word it? I would, I usually make up my own formulas with my own words, but they said percent change is equal to the amount of increase or decrease over the original amount. Okay. So so this is the formula, percent change equals um, they, they worded it what? They said the difference. Oh, no. yeah. They said ah, the amount of Increase or decrease. All right, that's fine. I'll write it the way they did it for now. The amount of increase or decrease. And then I'm going to write it in my own words in a second. Increase or decrease. But that's actually pretty good. And then over the original amount. AMT means amount. That's my short shortcut. So that's your equation that you're going to use. It's so simple, guys. This is the easiest thing. They're actually fun. They're so simple that they're fun, right? Let's say you have an original amount. Original amount. And this is, this is the kind of thing that happens in, in stores. You know, they have the original amount was, you know, you know, $20.13, right? Or $20.99, really, right? Um, and then 
they said they wanted to make a, de a percent decrease. So that, in other words, that's a sale. They want a discount. That's what we're dealing with. So we're talking about that kind of stuff. The original amount, say, was um, 22. And the new amount, say, is 40, um, 48. Actually, let's let's make not go so high. Let's go up, you know, 30, 32. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to say the percent change, right, is equal to the amount of increase or decrease. The way you get that is you just take what. Go ahead, Hannah. What do you do? Okay. Well, so since the new amount is an increase from uh -huh. the original amount. You would put 32, like first, and then minus 22. Yes. And then over 22. Over the original <laughs> amount, 22. Oh. Exactly right. And then you would minus 32, or subtract right. 32 and 22. That's 10. And then. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, what you can do is, you know, uh, Lila again. What's 10 divided by 22? 0 0.45, that's good enough. And so I'm going to just turn that into a percent, right? Because it's asking for percent change, not decimal change. It's asking for percent change. So I'm going to change that into 45%. So it's a 45%. We started at 22. We ended at 32. Was that an increase or a decrease? Increase. If the original amount was 22 and the new amount's 32, and it's an increase. An increase. So you can write it like this with a little arrow. So that's your answer. 45% increase. See that? Oh. Alright, let's try another one. Alright, original amount is, I don't know, um, um, 86. And the new amount <coughs> let's say we want to give them a really nice discount so 50 50 52 all right so what would i do um lila all right notice when you do this it's always going to be the bigger number minus the littler number on the top the bigger number whatever it is 86 minus 52 86 minus 52 over the original amount, 86. So what is that, Lila? Uh, 34 over 86. Uh, 34 over 86, which is what? Yeah, and now we're just going to do 34 divided by 86, right? Do it one more time. All right, 0 0.395. <coughs> so I'm going to change that to percent. It's 39.5 percent. Is it an increase or a decrease? Decrease. Decrease. So I'm going to put my down arrow. You're done. Quite easy. Quite easy. Yep. All you have to basically, it's so simple because percent changes. You you ask yourself immediately, is it increase or decrease? It's a decrease in this case, okay? That's fine. It's a decrease. All right. You just put your bigger number first on the top minus your little number. You're basically just finding the difference of the two numbers. And you always want it to be a positive difference, right? So that's why you always start with a bigger <coughs> number minus the littler number. And then always put the very first number, the original amount, on the bottom, right? So that's it. That's how you do it. So that's percent change. So that's it for the lecture today. So... That's me, Gary.